You can have your pot and pills if that's your mode, but I get my high from smoking soul. Oh yeah. I get up with it, down with it, love it, and can't quit it. Right on. I'm the best that ever did it and got away. Good morning from Gooseberry Mesa, Utah. Um, I am still here with the guys um, and one gal. Uh, basically this morning, had a nice little coffee talk and uh, I might have a fix for my data situation. So just ordered a device. It will arrive over in Washington in a, a couple of weeks or so. I'll pick that up when I get there. Um, gonna cross my fingers for that. <laughs> But uh, definitely today I'm going to introduce you to everybody here. It's a very eclectic mix of people who have been uh, living a nomadic lifestyle for quite some time. We have people who are full-time uh, in their vehicles. We have uh, people who are newly full-time in their vehicles but have been doing boondocking and uh, you know camping and stuff like that for like 30 years. Um, it's a really eclectic mix of people um, and actually it's funny I have so much in common with them because when you let go of your house and you let go of your your car and your monthly responsibilities and, and you are able to um, sustain yourself your days, you know, it, it turns into meeting up with other people, like-minded people, and sharing little tips and tricks about how to live on a budget. And so uh, I've learned quite a bit this morning about that. So uh, hopefully we'll get a couple tips from you, uh, tips from the people as well. But um, I need to start editing. I apologize for not having scheduled uploads for uh, yesterday. Today I'm late. So I need to quickly edit and upload one. Um, but hopefully I will fix the internet situation here. So, all right guys, here we have uh, a video <clears throat> exporting. That's what it look, looks like. Uh, that's how I create a video is uh, I use uh, Premiere Pro. It's a complicated um, program until you get to use it and then it's not so complicated. By the way, I've been breaking up longer videos into two videos for two reasons. Uh, first reason is people's attention span. <laughs> um, uh, I have a fear that if I put up a 20 something minute video, it might be a little bit long for the majority of people. I could be wrong, please correct me if I am. The other reason is that um, I haven't made a video every single day since July 1st, 2016, so I'm trying to like, kind of um, make up for that by having, you know, like, uh, however days I'm into it, I'm trying to make up for the lost days as well uh, to hold myself accountable because that's what this project is about, is documenting the whole trip. Um, just in the past when I had some things happen, I was sick for a week, whatever, it's really not that interesting and I don't want to make six videos in a, uh, in a row. It's like me chilling in bed, drinking soup, like, <laughs> not my idea of a good time. On that note, let's go check out the adventure vehicles I am parked next to. So here is one of the rigs, the adventure rigs. This is uh, Jim's. Let's see if he's home. Could be gone, could be taking a nap. Let's go check in on Brian. You wanna give me a tour? Do you want me to give you a tour? Yes. Sure. Me and the viewers a tour? Sure. <laughs> um, it's a little messy, but come on in, yeah. All right, cool. That's my dog, Stella. Hey, Stella. Hey, Stella. I'm in the middle of project mode right now. Are you still working on the uh, the lights? I am, but I think it was successful. Cool. So I just had to mess around with the little uh, connector up there, which was the, I think while I was moving things around, it became disconnected. Mm, so, gotcha. Um, so yeah, cool. so I'm just waiting for the liquid black tape to, to dry on our little project. So. Sweet. Thanks again for your help. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, man. My pleasure. That's that's what it's about is uh, helping people and absolutely, you know, collaborating on stuff. Totally. Right, right, Stella. So give me a brief rundown of this thing. Year, make, sure. model. Uh, it's a 1977 GMC uh, Class C motorhome. Mm -hmm. It's a Hitchhiker by Nuwa. Was the um, 
I guess the model of it per se. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, so it's kind of old. It has a newer engine in it. Uh, got a new engine five years ago, mm -hmm. but again, I'm having engine problems right now. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. And uh, how long have you been full time in the, in the rig? Uh, this will be, I think, seven years. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so right around seven years. Uh, left from Colorado, Denver, Colorado in January of 2010. Nice. So yeah, so I've been on the road seven years and loving it. Cool. So, yeah. Do you mind telling us how you pay the bills? Uh, yeah, not at all. Um, so basically in the summer times I work as a campground host. Uh, it, traditionally I've been in the Sierra National Forest up near kind of halfway between Yosemite National Forest and Kings Canyon Sequoia um, National Park, sorry. Uh, and so in the summers I work four or five months uh, during that time and that's usually enough to pay the bills for the rest of the year. Uh, there's been three times during the winter out of the seven years that I've worked for Cirque du Soleil uh, just in their usher department uh, within Los Angeles and then Portland, Oregon. Um, and so that, I don't make a lot of money doing that, but it's just kind of a fun thing to do. So mm -hmm. that's I cool. get to work for the circus, so <laughs> yeah. I'm get that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, could you give us a tour? Um, sure. You told me yesterday that's a sleeping area. Yeah, so that's a sleeping area up there. It has my computers on it right now because I was trying to look some stuff up. Um, and so it's the bedroom. This is the living room, mm -hmm. uh, which is the couch. Uh, <laughs> over here is our dining room, which is the table. Which is now, also the workbench. Which is now the workbench for soldering, <laughs> uh, which is a lot of fun. Uh, over here is uh, the kitchen area mm -hmm. um, where I do all the magic. And uh, yeah, I have a stove, four burner uh, oven, or um, four burner stove, oven. Um, and then over here I have the sink and I added a uh, under counter filtration system so that I do drink straight out of my uh, fresh water tank. Cool. I know a lot of people don't. Uh, but I installed that filter because I just wanted it to be hassle free. So mm -hmm. I want to be able to do that, just have one water source and it's a fresh water tank for everything. Nice. Yeah, a lot of people buy bottled water or uh, things like that, but mm -hmm. I don't bother with that. Mm -hmm. um, and then the refrigerator <laughs> right here, uh, very tiny. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the bathroom back in there. Mm -hmm. um, and I see the shower's filled up and you were telling me yesterday how you shower. Would you tell us again? Oh, sure. Uh, or actually show us. Show, oh, sure. Yeah. Uh, come on out. And this is partly for everyone's information and partly for mine because I have yet to install a shower. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a solar shower that is hooked onto the back, uh, a ladder. Uh, when the bikes are not here, this works as uh, the PVC will come out uh, uh, straight out from the motorhome on both ends and then create an enclosure so that you can put up a tarp or something like that to have some privacy while showering. Mm -hmm. um, if you're out in the middle of nowhere, you don't really need it. You know, if nobody's around you, um, you know, and uh, so yeah, so that's basically, it's a pretty simple system. Sweet, thanks man. Yeah, yeah, no problem. By the way, also, uh, Brian tows this little car with the, uh, with the motorhome, which is pretty cool. So when he is parked for an extended period of time, uh, he gets like 40 miles per gallon in the little car compared to like, I think you said six in the RV. Guys, this is uh, part two of uh, a vlog from a few days ago. Let's go over and knock on Jim's door and see if he's around. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> All right, cool. Well, tell us about your trailer. It's a 2011 25 foot bunkhouse Amara light. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an ultra light. It's been lifted to sit two feet off the ground so it can go down Jeep trails. Um, it's my rolling one bedroom apartment. Uh, you know, it's got all the, the basic amenities. I've added a freezer. Mm -hmm. uh, 750 watts of solar up top, 435 watts of solar on the truck. Uh, 675 amp hours of battery. Um, it, it basically does everything I do at home. It'll, it'll run its own air conditioner. As you can see, I, I use normal appliances like coffee pots and cooktops mm -hmm. and heaters and water heaters, and it, it's almost all electric. How long 
have you been in this full time? Uh, since the first of the year. Mm -hmm. One one. Yeah. And, and what kind of do you do? You get any sense of of freedom from not having a uh, a house and having a, a van or a, a trailer, I should say. Oh yeah. Um, I not having a house. Uh, there, there's much less to take care of. I mean, it, it does need to be cleaned occasionally, and but it's it's nothing like cleaning a house. Um, no rent, no mortgage, uh, much simpler bills. Uh, I, I definitely don't pay a utility company. Um, it, it's much much less stress. Yeah, yeah. And and you were mentioning before about all these different devices. Could you give me a run through on the different devices and just sure. like point at them? This is an AT&T Mowgli. It's a mobile device that's meant to plug into your car, but I have it on an adapter. It uh, runs $20 a month unlimited for AT&T data. This is a Verizon 4510L hotspot. It's only 3G and it's $5 a month. Uh, that's a Ting Sprint phone. Uh, this is my old business cricket phone. Uh, that's an AT or a Freedom Pop AT&T 4G global hotspot. Uh, the SIMs that go in it cost you uh, one time uh, 99 cents and then you, they're never charged you again and you get about a gig of data after it's all set up. The next one again is Freedom Pop, but that's Sprint. Uh, you have to buy the hotspot and the, the SIM together so you can get them for $22. Uh, that will net you about a gig and a half a month for free, no charge. The one after that is a 4G Community Sprint LTE Unlimited. That's $14 a month. You buy the hotspot and a year's worth of service for $250. The next year it's uh, $168 for a year's service and that breaks down to $14. Mm -hmm. There, that's very fast when it's when it's well connected. Mm -hmm. The last one is a 4G antenna shop, uh, five gig hotspot with unlimited binge and music freedom. So I can uh, stream all of the Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, anything on their binge list as much as I want. It never that will never cause it to deprioritize or anything or like that. Or slow down. Or slow down. And, and how much do all these devices cost you? $56 a month total. And is have you written a blog post about this? Um, I, I have some of it on a blog called The Solar Boondocker, and I have a lot of posts in the communication center of uh, the CheapRVLiving.com forum. Perfect. So I'm actually going to... Um, you, I've already ordered a device. I've ordered a device that he recommended. I'll let you guys know how it works once I get it. But it sounds like I'll be getting this one here, which is 20 bucks a month. And again, I'll let you know how that works when I get it. So high five for living the uh, alternative lifestyle and uh, freeing yourself from all those monthly payments. Okay, last thing is yeah. um, this is sitting in a refurbished Wilson Sleek but you can pick up on Amazon for $119. The cord and directional antenna that I use to improve its reception are another $70. For under $200, you can have a complete high-end uh, booster setup that I've never been without internet. Anywhere I've been day in and day out, it's just not possible right now. That's so cool. So I, I did try this device earlier uh, here just to prove to you how well it works. So I got two bars right there, if you can see that. Just take my word for it. You put it inside the device and I'm boosted up to four bars. So it does work. It is worth the money if you're gonna be out in the middle of nowhere. So yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I'm generally 20 miles or better away from any type of a town. Um, it, it uh, if you want internet out here, it, it's well worth the money.